Hello everybody, welcome in this first video from the channel Velu Painting Studio. Today we are learning how to paint the spectral walkers from the game Zombicide Black Black. You can find these models in the extension No Rest for the Wicked. And we will try two different methods by airbrushing and dry brushing. You will find here the different paints that I used for this tutorial. For both methods I decided to prime the model into Vallejo Grey. I'm using an airbrush as long as it allows to have a finer texture. Of course you can use the um, Citadel Grey Sear undercoat. You have a fine result and something really smooth to proceed with the contrast paint just after. For both airbrush and dry brush I'm using the same base. I'm using the Citadel contrast paint Aethermatic Blue. The best way I have found to use this paint is to apply a thick coat and then remove it from the brush and then suck it with the brush. This allows to make the finer details pop up. For bigger surfaces the aim is to apply a thick coat, but avoiding to let it pull. So you can smooth it with the brush just after layering the paint. You can now proceed the same way for the rest of the model. Using contrast paints allows you to have fine details with just the base coat. The first method consists in using an airbrush to spray urethrine grey zenithally. This way you have a nice light coming from above. You can also spray some often grey at the feet of the model to simulate a light coming from the ground. Then you can airbrush pure white directly on the part that catches the most the light, like the face, the hair, the hands, 
and a little bit of the fabric. Once again, you can spray the white at the bottom of the model to simulate the light coming from the ground. The airbrush allows to have a smooth and quite clear result for the model. The second method consists in using dry brush. I'm using the same color as long as the first layer of paint I'm using is a Yulthuan gray. I'm trying as much as possible to put the light directly from above. using the dry brush vertically. Now you can put a final highlight of pure white by small touches on the face, the hands and the bottom of the robes. You can put some bright paint at the bottom of the model to simulate the light coming from the ground. For this model, as the rest of my collection, I'm using the Sorastro tutorial to paint the bases. With the airbrush, I'm spraying some Ultron Grey at the bottom of the model. This allows to simulate a light coming from the ghost and reflecting on the ground. As always with an airbrush, you have to proceed with really thin layers to make it as transparent as possible. For those who don't have the chance to own an airbrush, you can have a quite similar result using a dry brush. As always with dry brushing, it is better to proceed with very subtle layers. Now you can compare the final result with the two methods. The airbrush appears smoother, but the dry brush makes the details pop a little bit more, so you can combine the two methods. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.